So that's probably another really, really important thing to know is so that Jim's group doesn't take a percentage of your income. So that's huge. So we've got our fixed monthly fees, which we can go over, you know, later on through this, but there is no percentage. So that's probably one of the greatest parts. You could have a really successful business, but it's still just going to be the flat fees that we charge. Today with me in the Jim's podcast, we're joined by Emma. And Emma, you're our sales rep, our franchise partner representative in New Zealand. You're doing a fantastic job. You've been supporting a lot of new franchisees and getting them into Jim's family with a great offer. And obviously you answer a lot of questions. So what we wanted to do today is I wanted to just interview you and ask you as many questions as possible that you're getting from franchisee prospects so that, you know, in their own time, they can listen to this. They can, you know, maybe take some of the, um, the FAQs and the information if they're not sure about it. And um, hopefully they come and be involved with the Jim's family. So first of all, Emma, let's talk about Jim's cleaning. So Jim's cleaning is available everywhere in New Zealand. Do you want to tell people about the offer that's on hand. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Joel. So um, yeah, I've been enjoying helping out our new cleaning franchisees coming on board in New Zealand for a little while now. So as you're, you're correct, so we've got franchisees all across New Zealand and I help them walk through the process to figure out if this is the right decision for them. So generally what sort of happens is once you make contact with us, I give you a call and I just get to know you a little bit more, sort of um, figure out how this could work for you and, you know, tailor it to you. And then from there, sort of we run through the process. So I send out an information pack. It's got a little bit more about the cleaning division and a breakdown of all the costs involved. So I often get asked a lot about that. So maybe we'll cover that off shortly as well, Joel. And then generally after that, so we like to get our prospective franchisees out on a free observation day. So that's a day where they go out with one of our existing franchisees and get the chance to see firsthand if this is something that they're interested in. So you go around a few jobs and you get to ask the franchisee, you know, questions like, how have they found the support from the gyms group? What's the journey? been like for them? How do they find their jobs? Sort of all those questions around the day-to-day running of the business that most franchisees have. So we find it's a fantastic way for people to be able to just see firsthand that this is the right thing. And then from there, you generally figure out quite quickly whether this is for you. And also at the same time, we're making sure that you're the right fit for the gyms group. If you want to sign up, then we get you to come along to our two days induction training held in Auckland, Framlingham Hotel, and we cover off everything you need to know about how to run a business. There we cover off things like health and safety, quoting, how to build your business, grow your business, all the systems that we have in the gyms group to help support new franchisees and succeeding with their business. And then additionally, after that, we send you out on five days road training where we cover off things like how to do all the different types of cleaning. So we've got our residential, our commercial, our end of tenancy cleans, our builders cleans, the whole lot. So after the training process, our um, new franchisees are feeling really, really confident to be able to hit the ground running and start their own business and then off they go. But I guess the biggest thing that I always get asked is what's the support like from there? Great thing about the gyms group is that the franchisor ends up calling the new franchisees every week just to check in, see how everything's tracking. And if there's any support or help or guidance, then, you know, that's what we need to do and help and support the new franchisees coming on board. So that's sort of like a brief overview of what we usually cover off in one of our conversations. And then from there, like a lot of questions get asked, Joel. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's a lot. But, um, Yeah. Yeah, thanks for that process. That's really good to hear. I think the best thing for a lot of people to do is a lot of people do the observation now. I think that's one of the best things because you can ask the franchisee directly how much you're making, what jobs you're doing. You're hearing it straight from the franchisee who's out in the field. So it's generally the best way to do about it. A lot of people um, are and want to read this and this, but as you would know, the best thing is just do the observation day, which you will organize for. I mean, there's no obligation, nothing like that. It's probably the best thing they can do as well. Yep, definitely. And now let's talk about the um, other questions that you get commonly. And I can think of them in my head from knowing I do a lot of these interviews and a lot of people will go, how much How much will I make? Is a general question I presume that you get. So how do you answer that one and what would you sort of advise people? Yeah, I, I mean, I wish we could say an exact amount that you will make, but generally it does come down to the franchisee. You know, so we've got all the systems and support there. We're always marketing and advertising for our new franchisees, but it does also come down to the effort that's put in from every franchisee is from what we've seen. You know, the people that really put themselves out there with updating their Facebook business pages, dropping off brochures, just really spreading the word. They're the ones that are definitely going to get more work coming in. The franchisees that do those sort of activities are definitely going to be the ones that, you know, make more money and have more customers just for being really proactive, along with obviously doing a really great job. So it's a really, really hard question to answer because every franchisee is different. And another thing is some franchisees focus on mainly residential work and some might focus on commercial, whereas, you know, the franchisees that probably open up all their work and all the different types of work that come through, again, 
um, they've got more opportunities as well to be able to really build a strong business. So there's no magic answer, but what we do have when new franchisees come on board is we have paid for work guarantee. So how that works is if your income falls underneath $2,500 a week, then you can go out and do some free cleaning services. And every free cleaning service that a franchisee does, then we pay them um, $92 per service, so up to $2,500 a week. So that's probably one of the best benefits that I would say that I do talk to a lot of franchisees about because when you're starting out, it does take a little bit of time to build your business. So having that support behind you with the paid for work guarantee, so having extra money coming in and the opportunity to be able to go out and show people what you've got as well, really helps build businesses and it helps you with your income at the beginning. It's a great explanation, Emma. And I'm, I chatted to Jim about this a lot. And obviously, this is something Jim uniquely created. And just give people a bit of background. There's a lot of franchises who do have minimum income guarantees and yeah. a whole bunch of strings and you know, conditions attached to it. But the reason why Jim did this one, as you said, you can practice your skills for one, you can build your networking, and then you can exactly what you said, you can show people what you can do as well and we'll pay you to do it. Whereas if it was just a free bunch of cash for doing nothing, it doesn't help you, right? Whereas this, you're actually getting, we're paying you to promote and build your business as well, which helps us because it means you get more clients, happy clients, and you come off the pay for work guarantee, you've got a regular customer base to go into. Whereas if it was just a flat cash for doing nothing sort of thing, you know, that might expire after three months and then you don't have much to show through it. Whereas with this, we'll pay you to build your business, which is a really unique part of the gym system. Yeah, and I think as well, it gives you a lot of confidence. The more you talk about it and the more you can offer, then, you know, it becomes natural. So the franchisees, you know, sort of, that's just a great way of building your business is naturally talking about things. And it does become part of it when you are sort of putting this offer out there as well. You know, you mentioned something before about, you know, other franchises offering different things like, you know, a minimum income, stuff like that. You know, I have seen that as well. Like there are patches to that. So you definitely do need to be careful when, you know, other franchises are potentially offering, you know, his contract or fixed clients. That's definitely something you've got to look into carefully because the jobs have already been quoted by someone else, which that's a really strong part about the gyms group. So that's something that we're, you know, obviously really proud about is that we teach you and guide you of how to do your quoting and your pricing. But at the end of the day, it's your own business. So you're the person that should be able to choose the prices. So, you know, sometimes when the offer from other companies is that, you know, there's clients here available, have they been priced correctly? And, you know, at least with us, you've got that flexibility too. Yeah, it's a really great point. And look, we presume people watching this, you're not just looking at gyms, you're looking at other franchise options. That's something that people should be asking about, but you're 100% spot on. And the other question I presume you get a lot about is commercial work. A lot of people will come into cleaning and go, I just want to do commercial work. So maybe do you want to talk about that side of the business and maybe the people who want to do more commercial work than maybe residential? Can they do that? How does it all operate? Yeah, you can definitely do it. Um, when you come on board with us, and if you are doing the paid for work guarantee though, while you're building business, you do need to take all types of leads, all types of work, so residential and commercial. But once you're sort of up and running and you've got a really good customer database behind you and stuff, then you can turn your leads off or you can control your leads. For example, if you just want to focus on commercial work, you can jump into your Jim's Jobs app, you can turn off all your other types of lead and just get the commercial leads coming through. So something I do also mention, Joel, to a lot of people as well when they're wanting just commercial work is, you know, it is actually great to have a variety of the commercial and residential work going on because in New Zealand and probably in Australia as well, that most businesses, when you're doing commercial work, they pay you on the 20th of the following month. So, you know, sometimes like, for example, you could do a job today, but you're not going to be able to get paid until the 20th of November. Whereas, you know, that's where the residential work can be really great as well because you can usually get paid the same day. So for cash flow purposes, having a mix of both is a really, really good option. And I think that's another great thing about the gyms cleaning group is it is both it's not just commercial and it's not just residential absolutely and also the um the residential people that you do jobs for who knows who they know who knows who they're going to refer you to who knows what they own themselves we hear all the time with franchisees who get a, a they think it's a residential lead for something then that person owns 10 factories or owns 10 businesses or something like that they didn't go and quite for a commercial job they inquire for the residential job so as a franchisee you can build the business as you as you uh, said in any way you want really but Residential, commercial, it just it just makes sense uh, from a cash flow perspective as well. I was going to say as well then, Emma, you mentioned the, um, a lot of the times you mentioned other businesses. So I think our fees are very unique. 
in terms of that. So I presume you get how much does Jim take as a percentage of question quote. Uh, quite often asked you. So maybe do you want to just tell people about that? Yeah, definitely. So that's probably another really, really important thing to know is so that Jim's group doesn't take a percentage of your income. So that's huge. So we've got our fixed monthly fees, which we can go over, you know, later on through this, but there is no percentage. So that's probably one of the greatest parts. You could have a really successful business, but it's still just going to be the flat fees that we charge. Now, with that fee then, Emma, what does it cover? Because um, it's a lot of great value. Um, a lot of people might be going, well, I could do this myself or you know, with a franchise. Maybe we're going to talk about what that fee covers. Yeah, so there's a whole different breakdown of what the fee covers. But I think the biggest part out of it is that you're getting, you know, the brand power, the support, the marketing, the business development. You know, it's all those things that you probably don't really think about when you're coming into a business. Well, you know, you certainly would if you were having your, starting your own business from scratch, but that's all taken care of. So the fees are incredibly valuable. You get a lot for it. So, you know, there's technology fees. So we've got Jim's jobs. So it takes care of that. All of that advertising and marketing. So, you know, you do an amazing job with that. That's all sort of taken away. So there's an incredible value with our monthly fees. Yeah, we, yeah I agree. And um, I'll just, yeah, we'll outline that a bit more because we talk a little bit about with independence and stuff as well. So you don't have to worry about your website. We do that. We will do, you know, direct marketing on Facebook and groups and stuff for you as well, which you don't have to worry about. We will get your leads from the Jim's group call center, which come through. You have your own personal call taker in our call centers yep. so they take them for you and you can call them up anytime to ask them anything as well so you get your own personal receptionist in a way and then the support from other franchisees you got your, your business coach support as well they're really hot on to it as well you got jimmy himself gives you his literally his personal mobile number and email to all new franchisees and i do want to just now go back into real quickly the trainings i think the training in new zealand it never was Everyone used to have to come to Australia, but Rocky and the team have done a great job of doing it in NZ with New Zealand presenters, which I think is a really, really good thing. So do you want to go in a little bit more detail about what's covered over that that training? Yeah, sure. So it's over two days. So they're pretty, uh, two pretty long days. There's a whole lot of information you learn through there though. So we cover off lots of different things. So like I mentioned before, so health and safety, how to build your business, how to grow your business. We touch on quoting and all the systems. We even have, you know, a bookkeeper and accountant to come through and also sort of educate on how to set up your business. And it's a great chance to be able to ask lots of questions there too about, you know, just the best way to do it for you. And the good thing about it is everyone there's in your situation. So you might have 18 people there or 20 people there. A lot of the time people form connections from there and that holds them in good stead through their life as a gym's franchisee and they ask each other questions, all that sort of stuff all the time. So it's a really good, really good event. You can actually go online and look at the training as well. We have a lot of videos with there too. I was going to say as well, at the start, you mentioned about prospect qualities, you know, who are you looking for? So it's not just we take anyone, we, we knock people back if we don't think they're suited. So do you want to talk about what type of person is suited to a gym's cleaning franchise or maybe what are some questions they should ask themselves? Yeah, I think when we're like sort of thinking about it, communication is the number one thing. Being able to communicate easily and professionally and also just being able to relate to the client as well and hold that professional level. So communication is key. And then obviously the desire to do a really, really good job and work hard. You know, it's your own business. It's not a job. So you want to put everything that you've got into this. So that's definitely something we also look forward to is the dedication and the passion and the drive to actually want to make this work. Because, you know, we've got all the systems set up and we've can teach you how to do everything. It's just you've really got to want to have it in you to be really successful as well. So yeah, communication, do a fantastic job, have pride. We teach everything though. So, you know, and again, if there's one area that people aren't feeling too strong on, then we've got the support of the um, franchisors. But generally, those are the things that we're looking for. Um, Hardworking values, reliable. Yeah. And you pick up a lot of that, you know, when I have a conversation with someone, it's, you know, half an hour, sometimes a second phone call can be an hour or a team's meeting. So we really get to know our franchisees well before they come on board because, you know, we definitely want to make sure that it's the right thing for everyone. You know, I'd say, to, I'd say to anyone who's a prospect, check out the YouTube channel, check out the podcast. We actually answer a lot of videos on TikTok about this. And Jim said it literally the other day where someone said a question, you know, when you buy a franchise, you're buying a job. And Jim's like, no, no, no. If you go with that attitude, you will fail. So if you are a prospect thinking it's just a job, probably not the thing for you, but if you're coming in to build a big business and as you said everything is there you've just got to come meters halfway really so if you're proactive in your business um, as a franchisee and follow the system pretty much the world's your oyster you can build a million dollar clean business there's no they've got people who've done it and there's no reason why people can't do it if they work hard and etc and now George, let's just another common question i presume you get is about people and putting on staff so can they put on staff can they put on subcontractors how big can they grow is there any extra fees for growing big do you want to maybe talk about that 
Yeah, I know that. That's a good question. It does get asked. So we definitely encourage our franchisees to grow their business and build their business and bring on staff members. So obviously, um, you just the franchisees would be wanting to make sure that the staff members fit their values as well and are going to represent them well. But we don't charge anything extra for people, you know, growing their business. The only things that might come along is you might need an extra set of uniforms or, you know, yeah. you might want to put another car on the road. So I guess those are costs, but Jim's group itself don't take anything additional. So, um, yeah. I guess um, from helping out some franchisees as well, like seeing the growth is really exciting um, of them being able to do that, but with especially with it not costing anything extra. Yeah, that's just the, that's that's a great point. Just to, to to outline that for people, we have some franchisees who I know I've got twenty staff have commercial contracts all over the country, and they manage them. And we have some franchisees who just do a sole trade, and they literally pay the same fee. So the business generating you know million dollars plus in re- revenue, maybe compared to the person generating hundred grand in revenue, they're paying exactly the same thing. So it's an incentive to build as big as you want and we don't penalize you for it. Whereas if you do look at other options, I'm not knowing too much about their systems and, and their fees and regarding it, I would say it wouldn't be as generous as that. Now, do you want to talk about then some other questions? So what are some common things that prospects are also asking you? Um, probably one is about vehicles. Yep. So that comes up quite a lot. You know, do they have to have a particular make or model or a new model? So I guess the good thing about Jim's cleaning is that we're really flexible with when it comes to vehicles. So as long as generally the car or vehicle is fit for purpose and it's tidy and roadworthy, you know, you can use your own car that you've already got. So that's, you know, another expense that, expense that you don't have to worry about up front. Our sign writing goes with every type of color of car. So it's, yeah, really versatile. So that would probably be a big one that gets asked is the vehicles. Yeah, it's a good point because um, we used to... Back in the day, they used to have white vehicles and say white vehicles only. And we wanted to try and, you know, we're saying no to too many people because they couldn't afford that cost. We wanted to try and make it as easy as possible. And you're right, it's a nice full vehicle wrap. A lot of franchisees just use their sedan or they might have a van or whatever. They use the wrap. They, it's a really nice full wrap. It looks good. So, yeah, we're trying to reduce the barriers to entry so that people can get started in their business. A lot of people do inquire about potentially just doing evening work. So commercial only. So that's something that we do have a really good discussion about because when you're doing evening work only, then it's very hard to promote and market your business because you do need to be available through the daytime generally to do that sort of stuff. So that's probably a big one that comes up. We definitely, you know, look at both options. Again, that's why it's good to have residential and commercial. But, you know, you can do that if you do desire and if you do want to do it. There are some restrictions around that when it comes to paperwork guarantee yes. initially up front. But once things are going, um, so that's probably a big one is that the vehicles, can they grow their business? The big thing that always gets asked is the royalty fees. So the percentage and in the income taken. Actually, another really important one, Joel, is people ask me, do they own their customers? And so that's a really, really huge one because you know if you are shopping around and if you you know other franchises out there that do provide contracts or clients for you quite often what's happened there is as I mentioned before so they're quoting that job so it might be an underquoted job to get in the first place and you you know got that contract that you do need to continue to do but what happens is you generally don't own that client so you know one thing that's really awesome about gyms is any client that you know a franchisee brings on or that we send you the franchisee owns and that is so important when it comes down to um, how much is your business worth because at the end of the day if you don't have clients and regular clients and you can't sell those clients then your business isn't actually worth worth that much so I think that's a really big one is um, that when you're a gym's franchisee you own the clients no, no it's a really really good point and um, yeah and they pay a lead fee so do you want to just talk about the lead fee yeah because that yeah pay, maybe just explain the lead fee from your perspective Yep. So yep. the lead fee is a really simple term. So basically, any time we send a franchisee a job that comes in through the call center or they booked it online, then you know we send the franchisee a text and an email immediately, and that's called a lead. So that lead fee is eighteen dollars. So eighteen dollars sixty three, I think it is. And so you only have to pay that lead fee one time only. So that's a really really big one as well. So for example, if you know we send a franchisee a job and it's for a regular clean every week, you only pay that lead fee one time, not every week. Say if that you have another customer and for example, if they just want a one-off clean, then you pay that lead fee once. But say they call back in a year's time and they want another one-off clean or spring clean or anything like that, you don't pay for that lead fee again because we've already connected you with that customer. Again, that comes in really a really important part as well when we're sending big commercial jobs because some of them, you know, you can earn a lot of money if it's a builder's clean. So the job might be worth a couple thousand dollars, but we still only charge that one lead fee. There's no percentage and it's just a nice fixed flat fee. 
Absolutely. Yeah, you pay it once and then that's it. The client yeah. belongs to you. And the whole reason why lead fees are brought in, if they watch any of Jim's content on YouTube, was because when you pay a lead fee, you value the lead. Like if you're a busy franchisee and you're down for leads and you're not paying a lead fee, you might just ignore that person or whatever. So it actually gives a better customer service to the customer as well. Because before lead fees were done, were brought in, people were too busy. They might not call the customer back. Bad experience, bad for the brand. So the lead fee is not, it's not really there to make money per se, it's so that the franchisee will value it. And then a lot of the lead fees are reinvested back into marketing to generate more leads. And as you said, that one lead could be a you know a ten year commercial job. How much is that worth to you as a lifetime value of that customer? It can be thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's a really small fee in comparison for what you can get. Now, do you want to talk about now, Emma? Uh, we haven't touched on it, but splits. So, do you want to talk about the opportunity or the possibility that a franchisee has as well if they do want to do a split? Maybe just talk about that term and also how it's a unique part of the gym system. So a split is, um, you know, what you can do is if you've established a really successful business with a lot of customers and you built up a really good database, if you wanted to, you can actually sell off some of those customers in a small portion of your territory as well. So it's actually an extra way to be able to generate and make a lot of money. So we've got, for example, mowing franchisees out there and they're really good at bringing lots of customers on board. So it would be the same with cleaning. So they just, you know, got that knack, they've got that skill and a lot of customers. So they can, you know, you can build up your customer database to then on sell to new franchisees coming on board or someone local in your area. So it's sort of a little Little business to the side itself to be able to get you know a, a good amount of money from yeah. Yeah, the, the benefit. Absolutely, it's a great point. We have franchisees who have technically paid no fees ever because what they do is they do splits. They might do one or two splits every couple of years, and they might package up fifty customers and sell it, and that's their fees covered for two years. And the majority of the funds from the split from a customer sale because they're your clients gets given back to you. So you can make quite good money from doing splits on a regular basis, but you've got to provide good service and build a regular customer base to sell. But cleaning is a great one because cleaning is a regular customer base and you can do that. You can't do that in the once of client divisions, but cleaning, you can do it. So you might be able to package 10 commercial clients or something like that and it gives a value to that and you can sell it and most of that money comes to you. It's a really good other way uh, for franchisees to make money if they choose to. The gym's brand then, why is the gym's brand, that would be obviously any prospect who's watching this, we're looking at multiple options, it's quite common, but why would you recommend the gym's brand or what would you say about the gym's brand for them? I guess with the gym's brand, like most people, I, I, you can probably know the statistics. It's hugely high that, you know, the brand recognition. So everyone knows as soon as they see the logo of gyms, what it's about. So I guess with the brand as well, the strength behind it and how it's been, you know, in New Zealand for 30 years. So people know and trust the brand. So that is hugely important. They've you know, either hired people and they've used gyms or they know someone that has used gyms. So I think, you know, and it's huge in Australia as well. And, you know, definitely growing in New Zealand so I think when it comes down to the brand um, it speaks for itself and you know a lot of people would know someone that's been involved with gyms as well and you know the feedback out there once you talk to any franchisee is is really strong. Yeah and there's been massive growth in New Zealand which is largely in due thanks to yourself and um, the other people they're doing a great job with it as well and I'll give an example for anyone watching this um, went went across to do some content I had the Jim's logo on there and say Jim's mowing or anything and Uber Drive instantly said oh Jim Jim's mowing like instantly right so the brand the brand does count for something it means you can obviously charge a bit more as well because there's trust with it as well what prospects should also know is that um, with all franchisees in the Jim's group they're all covered by the Jim's group work guarantee which is a massive difference which a lot of customers don't know about but once they know about it that extra peace of mind where if something does happen Jim's group head office will get involved and sort them out. It's a massive point of difference. There's no other cleaning business or gardening business or hiring bed business that I know of in New Zealand or Australia who offer an unlimited work guarantee, which all gyms divisions are covered by. So it's a massive point of difference for customers. And if you do become a gyms cleaning franchisee, I would say promote that because it's a massive point of difference to the competitors. And as you said, the, the trust and the reputation that Jim's Mowing's had there for more than 30 years, when people see gyms that instantly represents reputation and trust, then you're buying into all that goodwill from 30 years and you can get it for a really fraction of a small price. And just to give people a bit of background, the actual price of the franchise hasn't changed that much over the last 15 to 20 years, which just means you're, you're getting all this goodwill and 30 years of great brand reputation and the thousands and thousands of jobs franchisees done for a really small price um, for what that brand recognition actually represents as well. So it's a really good deal. Actually, Joel, another um, really important thing that I think about, you know, the gyms group as well is how all of our franchisees are police checked, you know, and I think that's becoming more of a important factor when people are hiring cleaners. Like I know myself, you know, just talking to friends and family that do have cleaners. There's a lot of people out there that just market themselves, for example, on Facebook as an independent. 
However, people are becoming more aware and more cautious of who they're letting into their homes. So I think, again, when it comes back to that trust factor and, you know, people know that we're police vetted all of our franchisees, that's another really strong point of reassurance to hire gyms. Absolutely. And also with property managers and body corp people as well, they want to, they prefer to deal with a bigger brand or a well recognized and trusted brand as opposed to risking it with someone they're not too sure about as well. So from a commercial perspective, definitely makes it a lot easier to win jobs. All right. Is there anything else you want me to ask you, Emma? Or I think it's just the biggest question that I always have, but I think, you know, now that we've changed the information pack, I think it should be a lot better. People were really confused at adding it all up. So right now, what in front of us, we have the information pack. Now, this is the last page, which you get a lot of questions about. So what we thought, we just have you explain it, Emma, um, just so that people can watch this back at their own pace and get a better understanding of how, what's included for the, the purchase price of the franchise and the value they get. Cool. So you'll see a breakdown here of all the different costs involved when you do come on board with us. So, but you'll see at the top there, it says to pay a total of 21000 So the 21000 is going to include all of the information below. So it's going to get your first year insurance. So that's worth $10 million liability. It's going to include your vehicle sign writing. So there, there's a bit of a variance of the prices. That just comes down to what size or type of vehicle you have as to how much the sign writing costs. And then we would set you up with a stationary pack. So you're going to get your business cards, your flyers and your magnets, and then you're going to get your uniform all included. So everything is listed there. So it will be everything that you need uniform wise. Additionally, afterwards, you can go online and order, you know, shirts by themselves. You don't have to buy the whole pack, but up front, we get the pack. So you're all set up. So then here are all the tools, chemicals and products included. So you've got a good list there of everything that you're going to get to start off with. So it's going to be all of your equipment for all different types of cleaning. The costs of puff, they all come to the $7,736. So this is all included in the $21,000. So you've got your territory price. So that territory price is $10,000. So what that's going to get you is an area, so a territory with exclusive rights uh, for 20 years. And then moving down further, so you've got your training costs. So you've got your two days induction training up at Auckland Grand Millennium Hotel. So um, that one costs $1,807. So your accommodation is included in that price and all of your meals uh, while you're at the training. Then additionally, after the induction training, we're going to send you out for the five days road training. So that cost is $990. Um, And then you've got your one-off fees. So you've got your $365 for your documents. So that's where our legal team create all your documents and draw them all up. And then you've got your warranty fund contribution fee of $138.85. So those are all of the costs that are included in $21,000. So the only thing you need to think about over $21,000 is just what vehicle that you're going to use. So most people already have a vehicle um, that they can use and they don't have to go and purchase a new one. So $21,000 will get you the whole lot to start up and ready to go with your business. Yeah, it's it's a great deal. The amount of value that's included is worth yeah it's it's i'll tell people go to don't believe what we're saying sometimes go to the <laughs> if you don't believe this is obviously we're a bit biased but go to the youtube channel check out some of the, the interviews i've done with cleaning franchises because i had a guy called bruno he paid around the same price for his franchise and told me the interview paid it off in five weeks so <laughs> people can work out how good of a deal it is and, and how quickly you can pay that pretty much off compared to a lot of other options and, and be you know in a flying business and the other thing i will point out real quickly uh, about the territory is that it's, it is an exclusive territory which means that you get first choice of anything in, by the call center but you can take work from anywhere so you know you don't you're not limited to work just in that territory you can literally take work from anywhere you want that's a really unique part of the gym system as well so you're not limited to just that anywhere you want to take some work from you can do that as well so so let's let's go over then the monthly fee structure because you would probably get a lot of questions about this so let's just go over that so you'll see all of the different costs there um, in different categories. You know, you've got your base monthly fee, $711, your advertising fee, your lead fee, your national branding fee, your monthly warranty fund contribution, and your technology fee. So all of those fees, they add up to be about $1,000. But what you do get is a compliance discount. So if you, for example, pay your fees before the 10th of every month and you attend the franchisee meetings, um, your vehicles are all sign written, then you qualify for a compliance discount discount of about $120. So that actually brings your monthly fees down to about $880 a month, excluding lead fees. So that's going to be um, variable depending on how many leads you um, get through the month or you're wanting and looking for. Absolutely. And we do have a lead fee discount as well, which does take into account. So if someone's just price shopping or something like that, Jim, Jim does have a um, 
leak feet discount built in as well, which would reduce it even more as well. So that's um, a really good thing to point out, Emma. So if you're a franchisee in gyms cleaning, we encourage you to use social media and a lot of other brands don't. They're really restrictive in what they allow you to do and what you're not to do. So in gyms, we allow you to post pretty much anything you need to to get yourself busy, whether it be in local Facebook groups or on your business page as well. And people can direct message you to book in. So that's another really unique advantage of gym system compared to other franchises. A lot of other franchises are really restrictive in what you can post. They might say you can only post these 10 things or you're not allowed to post at all. You're not even allowed to have an account that at all. Whereas we allow you to do that. Now, the best thing you should also do as well if you're coming into being a gym's cleaning franchisee is um, build your online Google reviews. So that's probably one of the best bits of advice if you're coming into this business. Um, if you want to get a lot more leads in your area, is to do the Google My Business reviews and get them from customers that really help you on posting on Facebook as well. And we have a lot of franchisees who generate a lot of work for themselves just via their organic presence with Facebook and posting in groups. So that's something that we allow you to do as a franchisee and something that I think if you are looking at a few options, ask them about that because it's a really important part of um, being a small business owner now is using social media and you know having a system like Jim's where we allow you to pretty much anything you would like because we want to keep you as busy as possible. We know that's a good source of work as well. Is something that you should always consider as well when looking at a franchise. Now, Emma, if someone wants to learn more or book the free observation day with you, what do they need to do? Just send me an email and I'm more than happy to give you a call from there or you know we can discuss it through there and it's yeah, something I'd love to be able to help someone out with. Awesome. Thank you for your time today, Emma. Lots of good good information. If you are watching this, please book in the observation dates. Probably the best thing you can do is speak with franchisees themselves as well, and they'll show you and disclose everything you need to know as well from their perspective. So please take action. And who knows where you'll be in a year's time. So please don't be one of those people who come through our training and say, I wish I did this years ago, which happens all the time. So take action. Awesome. Thanks, John. Thanks, Emma. Thank you for listening to the episode of the Gyms Podcast. If you want to learn more about the Gyms Group, head to gyms.net or call us on 131 546 Australia or 0800 454 654 New Zealand. And if you did like the episode as well, please make sure you leave a review or a comment or a thumbs up or a comment on the video as well. We appreciate your support. And until next episode, we hope you have a great week.